Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to deploy SQL Server on Microsoft Azure step by step. So I have logged into my um, Azure portal, uh, the classic one and now here you can see a SQL database. If you click here, you can see no, you know, you, you have no SQL database, create one. So before creating the database i'm going to create the database in my next video for now in this video i'm going to create and deploy microsoft sql server on microsoft on azure so let's click on server and create a sql server did sql database server and here you have a login name so i'm going to put here admin adm sql server 01 this is my uh, login name uh, login user id for my sql server which is going to create and here you can see it's not asking for uh, sql server name because the name is generated uh, generated by microsoft azure itself you can't rename or you can't put name uh, as per your requirement on SQL Server, so create server, and I have put in my login credential here, username and password, which need to be used when uh, after creating the SQL Server to login, and I'm going to deploy this machine on my central US, where I am deploying everything on my this uh, Azure de demo, so click OK. Now you can see create new SQL database server is running and it's deploying the server for now you can see a name it's new server because uh, we are deploying the new server so it will take some time to deploy the SQL server then we can go go in and we can check out the things whatever is there so just wait for a few minutes And here you can see successfully created a SQL server. My server name is this, which is uh, given by Microsoft Azure itself. Click OK, thanks for it. And here you can see the name and status. The SQL server is the status is running. And you can see the location and my subscription free trial. And you can see the uh, my availability quota and the version which is uh, latest SQL server is enabled on it. And if you click here, you can see the like my server name here, SQL server name. And it, uh, here we have a common task like uh, like create a database, which I'm going to uh, do in my next video. For now, you can if you click on server, we don't have uh, on go on dashboard. You can see the users overview. So here you can see latest. SQL Server version is enabled. If you want to reset the administration password for this SQL Server, you can reset from here. So you can see the resting status ready. Nothing is there like location, free subscription ID. All the details are there. So I'm going to click on database. So still we don't have any database on SQL Server. So we'll create a SQL database in our next video on this server only so you can create multiple actually multiple data a database on single server single SQL server so I, I will create two SQL server database in my next video on configuration you can see here the like allowed IP address which can access your server which may allowed to use this server so here you can see my my uh, current IP address is uh, already added here if you want to add another you just need to click here add add the allowed ip address and you can put the your server name like a name you can see test and you can put the ip address anything 192 like you you have to put here a uh, public ip address so just like 10 10 10 and one five two and put the end IP address also and if you have range you can also specify the range 10 dot 10 dot like I want to allow for from 152 to 160 and here you can save 
so the allowed IP address is basically this my current IP address and the test which we have created so these IP address can access this SQL server and can um, do whatever they, you know, they want to do perform a task so history you can see the pass, password export import things we don't have done anything so it's there nothing and backup there are separate video for SQL server backup I will create later on and the last is auditing and security for this particular uh, server so you can see default auditing setting is disabled so you can enable it I'm going to enable it and here you can see like for query you can enable and you can enable for like anything login failure and everything so good to know here you can see event category it means event category and success and you can log in for failure like if you just want to uh, uh, make the event for failure then you can put here failure and if you want to make the uh, auditing for enable for both the things you can enable both the things and a storage account here we have created this on our storage account and you can also download the audit log export template so good to know and here you can see the rotation day I'm going to put here 10 days for an SQL DB name like you this will put the table name SQL server DB audit log and server name yy mmdd so good to know mm -hmm. just click on save so you can say the successfully saved audit security and everything so we have successfully created the SQL server uh, server in this video and we have also verified the all the setting which is required to be checked before deploying any database so Thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any query related to this this please post me on my given mail email IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.